you want to order 100 pods like a psycho. But we're going to check the prices Memorial Day weekend just in case it goes on sale. Okay, so we just got... Not much else. This is how so cheesy and stupid of me. Here are my star coffee cubes. I feel like I almost need, like I don't think this is enough. Like I feel like I almost need like a bigger one of these or like a second one. Cause I don't think this is enough, but it's so cute. I'd be lying if I said I didn't add more ice cubes. I had to. It wasn't, it's not cold enough. So I think I just ordered a new one. I made sure to specify on how big the ice cube tray was. So I just ordered a new one and I'll show you guys when it comes in. And I'll show you how well it works. I'll link the other star one that I ordered uh, down below in my Amazon shop as well. Okay, I'm going into my, um, I guess I would call it my space bare bedroom it used to be my brother's room this is where i'm like i don't even want to show you what this room looks like i like have a lot of my boxes in here of like all my stuff but i wanted to show you i got my if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen my last vlog i talked about this in my last vlog where if you go to the nespresso website and you order like 100 pods which this, I think this is more than 100 pods. Um, you get... Here, let me move all these boxes. Okay. So I ordered a bunch of pods here. Let me show you the pods that I love. Okay, so these are like the coffee pods that I love. Um, I, I'm going to butcher this. Melosio? Melosio? Um, it's like a regular full-size coffee cup. And... Um, I got some of the double espresso shots. Um, everyone's raving about these. I honestly haven't tried one before. So I got some of those. Um, these are uh, my one of my favorite espresso shots. They're the Altiso ones. They're actually, this camera, um, they're actually cheaper than like other pods. I think they're 85 cents a pod on the site. I don't know if you can find these any cheaper. The reason that I ordered off the site, I'll get to that in a second, but I needed to stock up on coffee anyway. And then I got these, the Bianco, okay, I don't even want to try to say it because I know I'm going to butcher it, but uh, I got these as well. And apparently they're really good mixed with milk, like they're made to be mixed with milk, I guess. Back to what I was saying is, this is like part of the reason why I mainly ordered off the Nespresso site because when you sign up on the site they give you a welcome gift and depending on your machine is the welcome gift you'll get like i just have the i have the virturo line so um it's obviously a little bit different than another line but they give you two free clear mugs i mean when you obviously order 100 pods which is like a lot but you're good for like four months so but you get these um, Americano clear coffee mugs. And I think if you're just going to go ahead and place a huge order of coffee pods and you want to order 100 pods like a psycho, um, you can do it on the Nespresso website and it's your shipping's going to be free. And it, my ship, this order got here in two days. Two days. Like I ordered it Sunday night and it came here Tuesday. So it got here really quickly. So it's like two-day shipping um and your order is going to obviously be over 35 dollars because you're ordering 100 pods and then it comes with um a vegetable peeler this is like made out of like nespresso pods like recycled ones and and then it came with a limited edition pod flavor vanilla custard pie which probably is good i'm gonna get my sister to try it because she's trying to get into coffee and then it also comes with, I ordered an extra one of these, but these are like the recycling bags I was talking about. It comes with one of them, but I ordered one as well. And 
um, it you if it's I think if it's 200 pods and you literally just ship it back through UPS you just put all your pods in here and you ship it back and they recycle it for you the capsules are fully recyclable the aluminum is turned into everyday objects and the coffee grounds into compost together we can give the capsules a second life. so it's like this is so cool how the capsules were made into a vegetable peeler so this is getting really close and i'm getting really nervous it's about to literally go over i'm gonna have to like Oh my, I didn't expect this coffee to be this big. Oh my God. Love this when I go to casually make another cup of coffee and I haven't even put my milk in yet. I realized that I never saw off this vlog. So hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name's Lauren. I think you should subscribe. I post videos every week, at least one. Um, I wish I had more time to post more frequently, but I don't. Probably when I like get my own space and move into my like apartment with Christian, I'll probably be uploading more frequently. But as for now, this is like what works best for my schedule. I am on my way to Christian's. I'm bringing us, I'm going to get us those bagel sandwiches that we got a few vlogs ago. Okay, I just got them. I was in and out really quick. I'll show you the place. It's called Stasio, Stasio's. Um, this is the place right here. It's at Bumby and Robinson. Hi guys, it's a lot later in the day. We just stopped at CVS. He has to pick up a prescription. We have to go pick up his iPad. He took it to You Break I Fix. And I didn't even know those places were honestly open. And then we're going to look at mattresses. I don't know if the mattress place is open, but he thinks it is. So we're going to look at mattresses. He was like, <laughs> he told me this when we went to car shopping. He went car shopping with me um, before we bought my car. And he was like, don't act excited. Don't say like anything that you like, like just don't speak. Cause apparently you can ne negotiate mattresses, which I've never bought a mattress before. So I, I honestly don't know, but yeah. So that's what we're doing. I don't know if the mattress place is going to be open. I don't know if I'm going to film in there or vlog anything in there because like, I obviously still want to be careful and not touch a lot of things and like pulling out my camera and like, but at the same time, we want to like lay on mattresses. We just got out of the mattress place and um, I think we found a mattress that we like. I don't think any of you guys really care, you know, like what type of mattress we're picking or anything like that. But I don't know what we're going to do, what we're going to pick. It's still like two months away. Um, but we're going to, I just set a reminder on my phone for the Memorial Day weekend i don't know what we're gonna decide but it's okay we have some time but we're gonna check the prices memorial day weekend just in case it goes on sale that's what's happening christian just went into the you break i fix store to see if his ipad is done even though they said it wasn't going to be done until like 5 p.m yeah i did just want to update even though mattress shopping is probably not that fun and entertaining for you guys or what i have to say about mattresses okay so we just got acai bowls at soho juice co because we're waiting on christian's ipad to be done so this one's like right down the street i can't even remember what is in this let me see yours and what's that blue stuff on top it's on mine too or racked up that I 
have like four free coffees, so I'm going to get a free one. And then I'm going to pick us up some wraps at Publix. I just ordered them online. This line for Starbucks is so long. It's never been this long. But anyways, um, I don't know what we're doing today. Just enjoy the rest of the weekend. Cause I have to go back to work tomorrow and so does he. And I think things are like gonna be slowly going back to normal at work, which is gonna be really weird. Yeah, that's what's happening. Well, I guess update you when I have my coffee. How's that sound, honey? And a uh, cherry frozen Fanta. Is that basically like a cherry icy? Yeah, the cherry one. Yeah. Why would you get a fry like as an appetizer? You can't go to McDonald's and not dab onto their fries. So it's later in the day. He ordered pizza from Pizza Hut, and we were waiting for um, it to be done. So we went to McDonald's to get a coke. We, they have um, slushies now too. They have a cook one, but we got a cherry one. This tastes just like the Slurpee, like wild cherry. That's what it is. But I thought it'd be a little different, but it's really good. And then we got a fry, which was unplanned, but. Yeah, it goes me down as well. McDonald's fries are the best fries. Mm -hmm. Now we're going back to get our pizza. And. to go grab the pizza. Sorry if you can hear my little blinkers. What do they even look like? Um, but yeah, we didn't really do much today. Christian took like a really long nap. I just like watched YouTube videos. We kind of like more furniture shopping. Since Christian is like um, a liquor salesman, he has like so many different types of liquors like at his place. So we were looking at, I don't know if we want like a bar cart or like a bar like storage area for all of his liquors and stuff i kind of don't want them displayed like we can display a few but i just feel like all of the liquors displayed would look kind of junky like this isn't a college <laughs> college um dorm so we were looking at stuff like that and i suggested pizza for dinner because i had a coupon um, for a pizza, like a large pizza from uh, Pizza Hut for $6.99. So I just got home and I was like pulling in my driveway and I like realized that I forgot all of my lunch stuff at Christian's house. So I'm like, I bought a bunch of lunch stuff at Publix today and I'm like debating on if I should like drive back and pick it up like it's already it's 8 30. so like i don't know what to um, do got out of the shower i'm doing my skincare and i was just about to leave to go grab my lunches from christian's house and he's actually bringing them to me and that is the sweetest i mean i don't really like to ask much of people to like go out of their way to do something for me like i would never ever ever ask him to do something like this i would never like expect someone to do that for me and i just think i have to fix these i just think maybe like our standards are so low as females in relationships or males included i guess and i don't know this sounds so cheesy and stupid of me. We live like 20 minutes away from each other and I just think like on a work night, when on a Sunday night, like all you want to do is like relax and um, like go to bed. So I just think it's really nice how I like didn't even have to ask him to do something like this and he's literally like 
No, like, it's fine. I'll come drop it off. I would do anything for you. Like, what? I am dating the most kind person. I truly am, like, so, so, so lucky to have met Christian and... I don't know he's just like the most kind person I've ever met and like he makes me want to be like a better person and like he's just so like calm and real and like level level headed and just like knows what he's doing and he's like got it all figured out and he just makes me want to be like that like to be like calm and like not stress out about like every little thing because everything is not that serious and yeah i just want to like brag a little bit about i just like hope everyone finds like a happiness like this or like and it's so stupid that i'm like going off on this tangent because there's so much more to this like relationship than him bringing me my lunch that i left over at his place my lunches for the week but like everyone has been through like such shitty relationships i think and when you like get out of a shitty relationship it's really hard to like think like oh like there's someone great out there for me it's like really hard to like think about stuff like that and i've been there years ago and to like n be here now where i am in like the relationship that i am in and to like think back to when i was like oh my god like i'm never gonna find that person like does that person even exist it's like guys are nice there's not all like mean guys or mean girls too like there's like a nice person out there for you that's like gonna change your whole perspective on like a relationship and like how you should be treated and um you should always wait for that and you should never settle and i'm literally going on this tangent because he's literally bringing my freaking lunches for the week to me and it's so funny and laughable but it's like true it's like honestly those little things that they feel like just a big deal like I don't know maybe our bar is like really low and like people are gonna make fun of me for going on this like tangent of like but like I just think like stuff like that is so sweet and so nice and I think that takes a lot of effort I don't know I don't know I don't know why I'm going on this tangent yeah it's sweet it is just finishing <laughs> putting on all my skincare my eye cream and everything like that but yeah now I'm gonna end off this vlog but I just wanted to brag a little bit about my boyfriend and say if you're in a bad relationship or a bad situation like with your significant other, whatnot, it's like there's someone out there for you that's going to treat you right, going to treat you correctly and you should always wait for that and never settle. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> vlog <laughs> If you've made it this far in the vlog honestly because Yeah, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye